Hey guys, Nick with Faunarina here, and today we have a mid-range Android device on our hands, the LG Optimus L92. It is a slim and compact smartphone priced quite reasonably for what it has to offer. Specs include a 4.7-inch screen, dual-core processor and an 8-megapixel camera among other goodies, which isn't too bad of a package at all. Let's check it out. The LG Optimus L92 cannot really impress us with its appearance. It is an ordinary looking smartphone with a boxy shape and conservative design. What's nice about it, on the other hand, is that the phone is surprisingly compact. It fits into any pocket and we can comfortably use it with a single hand. The L92 is made of glossy plastic. Underneath its shiny layer, we see a discreet diamond-like pattern, which gives some character to this otherwise modest handset. On the right side of the phone we find its power button. It is easy to reach, but tricky to locate without looking. The volume rocker is placed on the left side and it is easier to operate. Below the screen are located three capacitive navigation buttons. They are well spaced out and respond accurately when tapped. We are very pleased with the screen on the LG Optimus L92. It measures 4.7 inches and it has a relatively high resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. There is no visible pixelation whatsoever, and everything from text and graphics to images and videos looks sharp and detailed. Colors are slightly colder, but the deviation is so slight that most users won't really be able to notice it. Outdoors, we had no troubles using the device thanks to the sufficient brightness output of its display. We have Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean running on the LG Optimus L92. The operating system has been modified visually and features LG's own user interface. All in all, it's a welcome change. The UI brings a lot of customization options and extra features that you don't get with stock Android. On the other hand, some people might not like the overly colorful appearance of its interface. There's a programmable button on the left side of the phone. By default, the key is configured to launch Quick Memo, which is an application for taking down quick notes on a screenshot. You can, however, set it to launch the camera, the music player or any app installed on the phone. LG has baked in its set of Q-Slide applications, which run in a semi-transparent window that can be moved around. This multitasking feature allows a Q-Slide enabled application to run in the foreground, while a regular application is still open and doing its thing in the background. Unfortunately, the feature's potential is held back by the limited number of compatible applications. Apps that can run in Q-Slide mode only include the video player, the stock web browser, the calendar, the calculator and the memo app. The on-screen keyboard on the LG Optimus L92 is surprisingly flexible and customizable, with support for many foreign languages and button layouts. Furthermore, there's a split arrangement for faster typing when the phone is held horizontally and a one-handed mode that condenses the keys on one side of the screen. We didn't really have any troubles typing on it at moderate speeds. The L92 is well equipped for a mid-range device. It has a dual-core Snapdragon 400 chip running at 1.4 GHz and 1 GB of RAM, which is okay for its class and sufficient for the needs of the average user. For the most part, the phone runs very smoothly, with only minimal lags when exiting or switching back and forth between heavy applications. Gamers will be happy to know that the phone can handle both casual and demanding video games. Storage capacity on the LG Optimus L92 can be an issue. That's because the built-in space of 8GB is mostly occupied by system files, which leaves the user with less than 4GB for their apps and data. For that reason, using a microSD card with this phone is a must. The stock web browser on the LG Optimus L92 works without breaking a sweat, as long as it isn't being pushed too much. It is very responsive and renders pages quickly during scrolling and zooming. When browsing heavy content-rich web pages, it might get a bit laggy, but not to the point of becoming unusable. Here we are at the camera application. It offers a fair amount of settings to tweak and modes to apply. There's not exactly a ton of them, but the ones we're allowed to play with are the ones we're most likely to need. Panorama, HDR, Macro, Burst Shot and the likes. In terms of image quality, the camera on the LG Optimus L92 is an average performer. It can take some pretty good shots when used outdoors, with accurate colors and sufficient detail, but due to the heavy presence of digital noise, 100% zoom crops aren't pleasant to look at. The snapper struggles with dynamic scenes, which is why using the built-in HDR mode when appropriate is advisable. Indoor shots are a hit or miss. 
Some scenes do look acceptable, but others may be out of focus or bloody. While technically the LG Optimus L92 can capture 1080p video, footage quality is average at best. It lacks fine details and it is simply not smooth enough for something supposedly taken at 30 frames per second. This is the music player application on the LG Optimus L92. The app seems simple, but it is pretty functional, providing all the necessary features you'd expect out of it. There's an equalizer for fine-tuning audio reproduction and widgets for controlling playback while the app is in the background. Just keep in mind that if you'll be listening to music from this phone, it is best to provide your own set of headphones. The ones provided with the set are of low quality and the built-in single loudspeaker is pretty weak. We wouldn't mind watching videos on the LG Optimus L92 because it's more than suitable for the purpose. Its video player runs all kinds of videos at up to 1080p resolution without dropping a frame and they do look great on the phone's high-resolution display. The app itself has a few tricks up its sleeve. The user interface is optimized for quick fast forwarding with a swipe anywhere on the screen, which is nice. Surprisingly, the LG Optimus L92 is one of the few smartphones sporting a built-in infrared blaster. This handy little perk allows us to control TVs, DVD and Blu-ray players remotely. A preloaded application called Quick Remote is used for the purpose. Phone calls made using the Optimus L92 sound great. The earpiece produces clear, natural voice tones at high volume levels, while the microphone easily picks up our voice, delivering it undistorted on the other side of the line. There's a secondary microphone as well, reducing background noise when needed without introducing any noticeable digitizing into the conversation. The Optimus L92 is rated for 7.4 hours of talk time over 3G and it should last for roughly 20 days in standby, which is not much by today's standards. But our custom battery test shows that the phone's 2150mAh battery is a respectable performer, giving us a rating of 5 hours and 48 minutes of active usage. Still, heavy users will most likely have to recharge the L92 on a daily basis. If used with moderation, the phone will likely need to be refilled every other day. The LG Optimus L92 is not a perfect smartphone, but it is definitely among the better made mid-range Androids that we've come across lately. It might seem like a pretty humble smartphone at a glance, but trust us, once you take it for a spin you realize that it's a device with plenty of potential. Or if we have to be more specific, it's a sleek and compact handset with a pretty screen and good performance. These traits make it a phone worthy of attention. But the Optimus L92 is far from the only noteworthy mid-range Android phone we can think of. The Motorola Moto G, for example, is already available in some parts of the world and it's also very cheap for what it has to offer. The Sony Xperia SP is also a phone worth taking into account since it comes with a faster processor and more eye-catchy design. And for those who need something a tad cheaper, there's the HTC Desire 500 which is a stylish mid-ranger delivering quite a lot of bang for the buck. Thanks for watching our video review of the LG Optimus L92. For more news about the latest smartphones, go check out our website phonearena.com.